the Nimitz Tic Tac video, AAV, an anomalous aerial vehicle on extraordinary beliefs, MP4, versus the F4.mpeg video on visionunlimited.de. Now, as you can see from the information, there's something somewhat amiss. One of them has an encoding date of 2017, October 25th. That's the file it says it was encoded on. Okay? The other one doesn't have any encoding date. And it's from a website from a long time ago. We have to then look for other sources for information. I will now pause the video and then restart it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play these side by side. And I'm going to do it for a little bit. Um, it's a minute and 17 seconds, so it's almost impossible to do a non-infringing amount of it. However... I'm not worried about that because the actual author of these videos will become very clear. This video is prima facie evidence that the F4.mpeg video on visionunlimited.de is identical. Once that is done, any attempt to flag the video will be used as an excuse to drag someone into court to tell us where they got the file from because they lied. So I'm going to play the video in a second. Okay, now they're playing at the same time and about the same rate. There are slightly different dimensions, and the information below in the description will tell you about the differences between them. You can watch them change in sync with each other. I'm going to pause the video partially uh, so you can see different parts of the video. Skipping some of the boring parts and also skipping any noise sources that happen in the area. I think that's quite enough. It's obvious that the video recordings are identical. Next, I covered up the part that includes the built-in code in the video to try to get you flagged for uploading it. Okay, next. Sometime before 2007, February 3rd, visionunlimited.de had an upload of a file called F4MPEG that was listed as being a Stuttgart, Germany, CG student film project or something of that nature. It was in German, translating it's a pain in the rump, and doing it through archive.org is a really big pain in the ass. Sometime before then, anyway. Anyway, on the 4th of the same month, at 5.31 a.m., on Above Top Secrets website, the final theory reposted that same video with his own story. It isn't associated with it. It's obviously not the same video and not the same story. Or is it? Maybe it's the same person. The day before that, the final theory, which is a user on Above Top Secret, had posted another story that was partially similar. A little over two hours later, Isa Kakoi debunked the whole thing by pointing out a bunch of stuff in it. And on the ninth of the month, somebody manually archived the video for all of us so that nobody could re-upload it and get away with lying about its origin. 2015, let's fast forward many years later, um... <clears throat> March 14th, Flight, excuse me, Fighter Sweep website posted the X-Files edition story that eventually ended up being added to the video later as well. Now we have two different stories associated with the video, but this is the origin story for the one that's called Nimitz Tic Tac. Or is it? Again, the final theory repost of it also contains a fairly similar narrative. I should also point out that this was being done repeatedly by other CG freaks and hoaxers at the time because of the news at the time. 2007, at the beginning of the year, what was going on militarily in the United States and in other countries. Okay, next. Fast forward only a couple of years. 2017, October 10th, Blink-182's Tom DeLonge started the To The Stars UFO Disclosure Enterprise, and it popped up on everybody's radar, and it was just basically a call for investors. It's really its only purpose. By the 14th of the month, to the stars, Chris Mellons uh, was shown to have used a Mylar balloon picture as a UFO with one of his Nimitz presentations. By the 22nd of the month, Coast to Coast AM's show talks up the entire above story. And the next day, at 9.05 AM, Extraordinary Beliefs reposted the same F4 MPEG video I just showed you to Vimeo with an encoding date of the 25th. So on the 16th of December, finally, mainstream media started reposting all of the above as the Tic Tac Nimitz video hoax and not really worrying about the consequences? I wonder why. So as of today, Tom DeLong's project has collected $2 million from 2,969 investors. 
You can look up his terms of service if you want to see if you can ever get the money back. The Nimitz Tic Tac video was a repost originally called F4 MPEG on Vision Unlimited's German stock footage website sometime before the 3rd of February 2007 and it was done by college students. The website was a stock footage location for a lot of other stuff including war footage. They would do it so you could do various documentaries. That's the entire purpose of the website. This is the archive.org web 200401 April 1st archive of visionunlimited.de's extern F4 MPEG. Now the reason for the time and date stamp I gave is the first posting of its address, that address at the end there, was actually earlier. It's an MPEG file. It's supposed to be 352 by 240, 4 by 3 ratio, 525 live line NTSC and 29.97 frames per second at 1.1 megabits per second. And it has audio in stereo, but there's no sound with it. That was the default recording. And you can also see the rest of the data there. And the image size is repeated there with the information that comes with it. Now, this is the other bit of data you can get from it if you right-click it on on, uh, Windows after you download it. It'll give you the wrong time and date stamp because it'll show your own file system. But, and yes, I changed the name of it to, to distinguish it so I could do it in the video screen you saw before. Now you can look at the information there, and again, it's 29.97 frames per second, five, excuse me, 352 by 240. It had 8-bit depth, just like the other one, and it has this information you're seeing here. It's just a one-screener, as sometimes it's called. But it was at 192 kbits, or kbps, for audio. Dual channel, 44.1 kHz. Sampling rate. Lossy and delay relative to the video was encoded in it at negative 101 milliseconds. All right, now we're gonna look at the other video. First of all, it is using an ISO format on Apple for 2003, ISO 14496. It also includes, and you can see the metadata handler is Apple. Next thing is I'm gonna bring it down here really far. Um, It's at a different average bit rate. The resolution's been changed. It's had uh, 20 some odd pixels added to the dimensions to it. And it includes all this extra information here, which means this is a reprocessing version of it. Now, it may have been that it was just simply put up on Vimeo and that's what they did to it. But the point is, it's altered. It's not the original audio and video data. Okay? Okay. And I'd like to point out that In 2003, the first version of MPEG-4 file format was revised and replaced by MPEG-4 spelled out. Part 14, MP4 file format, ISO, etc., commonly known as MPEG-4 file format version 2. Okay? Now remember, it's not NTSC and it's not the, the frame... Well, we'll just look at the frame rate here in a minute. There's the information again for the information on it and we get 29.931 frames per second. That's very close to emulating NTSC standard video. It isn't. It's also not 30 frames per second, which is what most video editors convert everything to. This includes a lot more information about the audio and video, and there's your data. And also it says ISO media file produced by Google. That doesn't match up with the other thing. It also has a time and date stamp for that format, meaning that it was a Google video, which what that means is the Vimeo video was downloaded off of YouTube somewhere. So somebody had it up on YouTube and downloaded it. And it's using the old uh, YouTube encrypting and encoding for ISO media file format 2011, which means that file that they're showing as their original data was really just downloaded off of YouTube and it was file authored a long time after everybody's talking about it. And again, the original video is 2007, and it was visionunlimited.de, and it was also posted almost immediately after it was up on the net as a background video to try to prove some story someone dumped onto Above Top Secret. And it's only one of two stories, and they're very similar, and the person was basically laughed off of Above Top Secret. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.